so we're pond freed. Can I take your order, please? That tattoo is off a song where it's the love, Black Eyed Peas. Because I like it. <laughs> That's meant to say Andrew in Chinese, but it's probably egg fried rice. Um, the greatest. And then the second greatest went to the Olympics. Um, my first uh, daughter, 10 weeks premature. It's a little hen, I'm when. My, my late brother passed away. Michael, that I was in Team GB up in Sheffield and Mom, Rob McCracken made me stay back for the weekend because um, I don't know, I done something naughty. So I went tattoo shopping, had that done. That one, Mike Tyson got it, Che Guevara. Someone on Instagram yesterday called me uh, C-U-N-T for it because he killed lots of people or something. That one, stay away from a casino because I always used to go on roulette and lose. <laughs> That's just a woman with a gun. That's my boy, Cade. Um, now it's for Michael, who passed away. And you have to tell me what's on my back. I know it's Bruce because, Lee uh, somewhere. Bruce, Bruce Lee, Lee because um, I was brought up watching him. And I just like how fast he was and that. Bob Marley is my mother's um, favourite artist and she's passed away. I got it on my neck there, Frankie. Yeah. Um, I've got the devil whispering in my ear by there, because when you go through bad shit and good shit, you get the devil in one ear and the angel in one ear. So that's my angel, my mother. And the, the Lord's fingers, is it? Jesus, you've got yeah. like a, on the back of my neck. Plenty more to right. come. And then I'll have Lisa Walker from Barry. So, so you'd so. recommend her as a... Yes, I would. Definitely. And how can people contact Lisa if they want to get a tattoo? Um, Lisa, Lisa Walker tattoos, I think, on Instagram. But if not, I'll be tagging her in this video when it goes up. Okay. So do you, do you give it much thought before you go and get a tattoo, or is it just no? Else? Yeah, when it comes to my head, I want another one by there on my neck. So, so what might Say be the next? Say <laughs> <laughs> so, so what might be the next tattoo? Or a couple of tattoos you have, two, three tattoos you have. Uh, I want Joe Frazier and George Foreman coming down here to. To match, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But it was four of them, wasn't it? Ken Norton or something. Ken Norton as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah so that. see if I can fit them all in. Just yeah. have a sleeve, yeah. Yeah, that's good. So, probably a stupid question for you, but I presume you you would think that Muhammad Ali would beat Mike Tyson, do Um, I, it's hard to say. Mike Tyson in his prime. Say Mike Tyson in 22, 23. He was unbelievable, wasn't he? But Ali could outbox him, but Tyson, I know Tyson had added in Joe Frazier, and Joe Frazier dropped him, so I don't know. And what do you think? Um, well, I, I think Muhammad Ali beat him fairly easily. Yeah. Fair, not easily, but you know, I think he'd, well, he'd have the, the style to make Tyson look... Yeah, he, he was the best on his feet, you know, and he... Um, and then your, your Bruce Lee tattoo, how do you think Bruce Lee would have done for the boxer if he'd have put the gloves on? I don't know, he's fast. He was a southpaw, so he could have been good. Yeah. yeah. Did he, did but he his kicks was just as fast as his hands, so he should. Uh, he could have been a great kickboxer too. Did you ever do any kung fu or karate or anything? Taekwondo. Okay. Before boxing, yeah. But I can't kick. <laughs> <laughs> no way. You found out you better with your hands, do Better with my hands, yeah. And, um, the Sheikh of Ada tattoo, the one you had some. Yeah, I was on holiday, I was, and uh, I just thought I'd have it. I just want to collect tattoos. Now go one on my finger there. Oh. My make got a matching tattoo. So what's going on the finger? Oh. I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know what I mean, to be honest. He's into all that fair dice stuff. He looks like the, um, little He's awake, the, the little, as you call it. What is it? A it symbol. It looks like the symbol for the, the Welsh, uh, Welsh speaking organisation. Looks like an eyeball. <laughs> the watching eye, is it? Yeah. And Che Guevara, did you just, that was just an impulse? Yeah, I see uh, Tyson had on his chest, so by the was he? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I watched a bit of, bit of him on YouTube, Che Guevara, and that's for, yeah. it's a decent looking tattoo, like no one else got it. I, I don't like having the same tattoos of people, see. Yeah. 
And then what was your memories of the uh, Olympics in 2012? The best memories coming out into, into the arena, 10,000 people shouting my name. And um, my parents coming to watch me. Obviously, uh, mostly my mother, because my mother won watch me fight anyway. And obviously she's passed away now, but she went to the Olympics and a smile on her face could, could just you, made made me made me happy. Do you know what I mean? Was that sort of um, did that make you feel all the hard work you put in was, was worth it to see the smile on your mother's face? Yeah, yeah, I could see how nervous she was, but she was so proud of me. And obviously losing to the eventual winner, and he won 2016 as well, and he had best boxer. So I just to be honest, I. Had, just the bad luck of the draw, but no, no excuses. But he was just real talent. I, you've seen him yourself, yeah. the Cuban. Do you, did you have any regrets on turning pro when you did? Yeah, I wish I turned when I was about 23. Because uh, you've seen me in WSP. Yeah. I was untouchable, I think. But. I, I suppose from your. But point I, I, won, I won. I I always wanted to win a British title, so I've won that. Anything else a bonus, so my, my, my next aim is European. So what, what do you think of the World Series of Boxing, if that's the correct name of it? Um, you were part of? It's not very good for the professional season pros, because they're, they're dropping from 12 rounders. I was, I was fighting people like 12 and 0 and stuff as pros, and they just couldn't adapt to my speed from five rounds. But it's good for us to get a know what's after three rounds. But I found out the five was easier than the three, because when you're doing three, you're just non-stop. In a five, you get a, you get a, you still, you still fast pace, but you get to think more, and and the other professional still trying to warm up. Yeah. So how many fights do you have in the world series of boxing? Um, no. Do you I think box? I, th I think it was twelve. Uh, I know I know we've asked you before, but that's only boxed Lomachenko's in the. No, I boxed yeah, him yeah. in. Uh, in in Morocco, two thousand. Oh, okay. uh, I don't know, but yeah, boxing for the medal in the World Championships, and I was the only one who didn't land on my bum. So that's my claim to fame. Were you surprised when? Um, I didn't. No one knew who he was either at the time. You know. Um, did, you, did you know who he was after? That's uh, that's when he was recognised. He won a gold. See from there, and uh, to believe it or not, he, he was better as an amateur than pro. He was so fast, but obviously he's won everything at both. Did, right. you stand, did you stand out as an amateur too? Did you think, wow, that guy is something special? Yeah, when I boxed him, that tournament, he dropped everyone, even a Cuban in the final. Stopped them all. But um, he was just surprisingly fast. I remember I caught him, right, and then he went for a punch, and I slipped there, and I sort of smiled to him. And then he, 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 he smiled to me, and then he tapped his foot. I looked down, and he went, bam, hit me with a right hand. <laughs> and then he smiled to me, and I thought, okay. He just batted me. He didn't bat me, but... He was just a class above. Do you know what I mean? What do you think of his fight with Lopez? Who do you think won that? Lopez just Lopez must have read a book on him because he had the re, he had the best um, tactics for him. I think if they have a rematch, Lomachenko will beat him easy. But does Lopez need to give him the rematch? There's no point now unless there's a rematch close. Yeah. Hello, so we're Pontypridd. Can I take your order, please?